We are um, a, a few minutes out from ending, so it's time for us to make sure that we hear from your, the audience, and hear your questions. So I'm gonna invite folks to raise their hand and we've got microphones and we've got a good bunch of time to um, hear from you all. Can I make another point while sure. someone gets the nerve exactly. up to get that microphone? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You know, I think that, you know, when I was, you know, listening to the arguments, preparing for my talk with mm -hmm. Dr. Lynn, mm -hmm. um, when I was sentencing adults, mm -hmm. I couldn't help but to often feel like I was starting at the wrong end, but also couldn't help but to wonder how, how much would we even need any of this if we fixed K through 12 education in our country? Hmm. Yes, you know, absolutely. And, and, we, and when we talk yeah. about those intervention points, right. you know, how, how many, if we hit those intervention points in K through 12, how many of those people then don't wind up in my courtroom? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. right, right. I speak a lot against yes. my job security, but that's okay. Yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> but that's okay. But, right. You know, and, you'll find something else to do. Right. right. So, right. so you know, like mm -hmm. you know, you we have to ask ourselves. Right. You know, you know, crime is not an isolated thing. Yeah. You know, I, I never came across someone that woke up and said, I'm going to be a criminal today, mm -hmm. or I woke up and I'm going to get addicted to drugs today. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it really, I think, to fix things, or even when you start thinking about reform, you have to think about um, everything that goes in around it. Again, mm -hmm. the social determinants of health. Yeah. Everything that goes in right. around that. Yeah. Um, and again, whether you're coming at it from the ethical thing to do or whatever, mm -hmm. um, or you're coming at it from a um, money perspective, mm -hmm. if you think about it, the pendulum just keeps swinging back and forth. Don't send anyone to prison, send everybody to prison. Mm -hmm. And it just keeps going back and forth and it doesn't seem to have settled right here. Yeah. And I think that um, someone really smart at University of Michigan, if they looked at it, mm -hmm. um, you know, this side of the pendulum is very expensive mm -hmm. because if you're not sending people to prison that need that the public needs protection from, mm -hmm. you know, it's all the property crimes and everything that comes from that. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you're sending um, people to prison that don't necessarily need to be there, then that's that's or no, excuse me. If you're sending everyone to prison, mm -hmm. that's expensive, too, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because, you know, think about when you're sending someone to prison, you're dealing with health care, you're dealing with clothing them, you're dealing with feeding them and mm -hmm. all of that. So it's very easy to say, let's send them to prison and then just forget about them. But mm -hmm. you have to think about all that that means. Yeah. You have to think about the cost of that. You have to think about, you know, what happens after that, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and even can they get a job, mm -hmm. you know, is, is definitely part of that. Right, right. 